and know that I am with you always, yes, to the end of time. For it is in giving that we receive. God is in the details. God never gives someone a gift they are not capable of receiving. If he gives us the gift of Christmas, it is because we all have the ability to understand and receive it. Maybe Christmas, the Grinch thought, doesn't come from a store. Let's be naughty and save Santa the trip. The main reason Santa is so jolly is because he knows where all the bad girls live. Christmas is not a time nor a season, but a state of mind. To cherish peace and goodwill, to be plenteous in mercy, is to have the real spirit of Christmas. Santa Claus has the right idea, visit people only once a year. If you haven't got any charity in your heart, you have the worst kind of heart trouble. I once wanted to become an atheist, but I gave up, they have no holidays. Christmas is a season not only of rejoicing but of reflection. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. A good conscience is a continual Christmas. I will honor Christmas in my heart, and try to keep it all the year. There is no better time than now, this very Christmas season, for all of us to rededicate ourselves to the principles taught by Jesus the Christ. It is the time to love the Lord, our God, with all our heart, and our neighbors as ourselves. Moving between the legs of tables and of chairs, rising or falling, grasping at kisses and toys, advancing boldly, sudden to take alarm, retreating to the corner of arm and knee, eager to be reassured, taking pleasure in the fragrant brilliance of the Christmas tree. Christmas is the perfect time to celebrate the love of God and family and to create memories that will last forever. Jesus is God's perfect, indescribable gift. The amazing thing is that not only are we able to receive this gift, but we are able to share it with others on Christmas and every other day of the year. Every gift which is given, even though it be small, is in reality great, if it is given with affection. Christmas waves a magic wand over this world, and behold, everything is softer and more beautiful. Don't let the past steal your present. This is the message of Christmas, we are never alone. Unless we make Christmas an occasion to share our blessings, all the snow in Alaska won't make it white. To perceive Christmas through its wrappings becomes more difficult with every year. A lovely thing about Christmas is that it's compulsory, like a thunderstorm, and we all go through it together. Expectancy is the atmosphere for miracles. When we were children we were grateful to those who filled our stockings at Christmas time. Why are we not grateful to God for filling our stockings with legs? The Supreme Court has ruled that they cannot have a nativity scene in Washington DC this wasn't for any religious reasons. They couldn't find three wise men and a virgin. What I don't like about office Christmas parties is looking for a job the next day. He who has not Christmas in his heart will never find it under a tree. Christmas is, of course, the time to be home, in heart as well as body. Christmas isn't a season. It's a feeling. I once bought my kids a set of batteries for Christmas with a note on it saying, toys not included. Christmas is the day that holds all time together. The two most joyous times of the year are Christmas morning and the end of school. One of the most glorious messes in the world is the mess created in the living room on Christmas Day. Don't clean it up too quickly. Christmas is the spirit of giving without a thought of getting. It is happiness because we see joy in people. It is forgetting self and finding time for others. It is discarding the meaningless and stressing the true values. Being a traditionalist, I'm a rabid sucker for Christmas. In July, I'm already worried that there are only 146 shopping days left. Christmas is doing a little something extra for someone. I love the excitement, the childlike spirit of innocence in just about everything that goes along with Christmas. The thing about Christmas is that it almost doesn't matter what mood you're in or what kind of a year you've had, it's a fresh start. That's the true spirit of Christmas, people being helped by people other than me. We consider Christmas as the encounter, the great encounter, the historical encounter, the decisive encounter, between God and mankind. He who has faith knows this truly, let him rejoice. Coming from Chicago, I like a white Christmas. 
Christmas, my child, is love in action. Every time we love, every time we give, it's Christmas. At Christmas play and make good cheer, for Christmas comes but once a year. It is a fine seasoning for joy to think of those we love. The earth has grown old with its burden of care, but at Christmas it always is young, the heart of the jewel burns lustrous and fair, and its soul full of music breaks the air, when the song of angels is sung. It's true, Christmas can feel like a lot of work, particularly for mothers. But when you look back on all the Christmases in your life, you'll find you've created family traditions and lasting memories. Those memories, good and bad, are really what helped to keep a family together over the long haul. I wrapped my Christmas presents early this year, but I used the wrong paper. See, the paper I used said happy birthday on it. I didn't want to waste it so I just wrote Jesus on it. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the house stop the coursers they flew, with the sleigh full of toys, and Saint Nicholas too. I stopped believing in Santa Claus when I was six. Mother took me to see him in a department store and he asked for my autograph. Christmas is a season for kindling the fire for hospitality in the hall, the genial flame of charity in the heart. Happy, happy Christmas, that can win us back to the delusions of our childhood days, recall to the old man the pleasures of his youth, and transport the traveler back to his own fireside and quiet home. Once again, we come to the holiday season, a deeply religious time that each of us observes, in his own way, by going to the mall of his choice. The excellence of a gift lies in its appropriateness rather than in its value. Mail your packages early so the post office can lose them in time for Christmas. Now, the essence, the very spirit of Christmas is that we first make believe a thing is so, and lo, it presently turns out to be so. Christmas is joy, religious joy, an inner joy of light and peace. Christmas, children, is not a date. It is a state of mind. Pets, like their owners, tend to expand a little over the Christmas period. I get a little behind during Lent, but it comes out even at Christmas. Faith is salted and peppered through everything at Christmas. And I love at least one night by the Christmas tree to sing and feel the quiet holiness of that time that's set apart to celebrate love, friendship, and God's gift of the Christ child. The spirit of Christmas is the spirit of love and of generosity and of goodness. It illuminates the picture window of the soul, and we look out upon the world's busy life and become more interested in people than in things. Always be prepared if someone asks you what you want for Christmas. Give brand names, the store that sells the merchandise, and, if possible, exact model number so they can't go wrong. Be the type who's impossible to buy for, so they have to get what you want. The supernatural birth of Christ, His miracles, His resurrection and ascension, remain eternal truths, whatever doubts may be cast on their reality as historical facts. I love singing Christmas carols. I know every harmony to every music hall Christmas song. Nothing says holidays, like a cheese log. The Christian faith can never be separated from the soil of sacred events, from the choice made by God, who wanted to speak to us, to become man, to die and rise again, in a particular place and at a particular time. Christmas is a stocking stuffed with sugary goodness. Christmas is taken very seriously in this household. I believe in Father Christmas, and there's no way I'd do anything to undermine that belief. There's something about a Christmas sweater that will always make me laugh. A Christmas story has always meant a lot to me personally. I love Christmas, not just because of the presents but because of all the decorations and lights and the warmth of the season. There are some people who want to throw their arms round you simply because it is Christmas, there are other people who want to strangle you simply because it is Christmas. I'm sure most of us remember being a kid and you have all of this endless time where two weeks before Christmas feels like 10 years. I used to go to bed to try and go to sleep to try and make it go faster. In our open society, we are inclined to give to the less fortunate for the pure goodness of giving. We open our home to those who are alone on this holiday to spread some warmth into the life of another. 
Every year we celebrate the holy season of Advent, O God. Every year we pray those beautiful prayers of longing and waiting, and sing those lovely songs of hope and promise. Christmas is a time of year that's so romantic. The sharpest memory of our old-fashioned Christmas Eve is my mother's hand making sure I was settled in bed. During the first 13 centuries after the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem, no one thought of setting up a creche to celebrate Christmas. The preeminent Christian holiday was Easter, not Christmas. Finding the real joy of Christmas comes not in the hurrying and the scurrying to get more done, nor is it found in the purchasing of gifts. We find real joy when we make the Savior the focus of the season. My brothers and sisters, true love is a reflection of the Savior's love. In December of each year we call it the Christmas spirit. You can hear it. You can see it. You can feel it. My brothers and sisters, may the spirit of love which comes at Christmas time fill our homes and our lives and linger there long after the tree is down and the lights are put away for another year. What will you and I give for Christmas this year? Let us in our lives give to our Lord and Savior the gift of gratitude by living His teachings and following in His footsteps. Our children await Christmas presents like politicians getting in election returns, there's the Uncle Fred precinct and the Aunt Ruth district still to come in. The best Christmas present I got from my husband was a week to do whatever I wanted. Christmas renews our youth by stirring our wonder. The capacity for wonder has been called our most pregnant human faculty, for in it are born our art, our science, our religion. Christmas makes me happy no matter what time of year it comes around. People say I don't write books, I make Christmas presents. I save every Christmas card. I keep them all. Christmas in Bethlehem. The ancient dream, a cold, clear night made brilliant by a glorious star, the smell of incense, shepherds and wise men falling to their knees in adoration of the sweet baby, the incarnation of perfect love. The real evidence for Jesus and Christianity is in how Jesus and the Christianity based on him manifest themselves in the lives of practicing Christians. Before we took down the tree each year, Dad would always say a prayer that we would be together the next Christmas. I cling to that prayer, which serves as a reminder that it's important to be grateful in the present for the people you love because, well, you never know. Christmas is not an external event at all but a piece of one's home that one carries in one's heart. I think Christmas is about celebration and come on, on the inside everyone wants to dance. At Christmas our house is like a Donnie and Marie Christmas special. There are a lot of Grinches out there that would like nothing better than to take any references to religion out of the holiday season. At Christmas, it's a wonderful life makes me cry in exactly the same places every time, even though I know it's coming. I don't think Christmas is necessarily about things. It's about being good to one another, it's about the Christian ethic, it's about kindness. Please to put a nickel, please to put a dime. How petitions trickle in at Christmas time. Christmas is a tonic for our souls. It moves us to think of others rather than of ourselves. It directs our thoughts to giving. Santa is our culture's only mythic figure truly believed in by a large percentage of the population. It's a fact that most of the true believers are under 8 years old, and that's a pity. My Christmases have always just been very simple and about family. I love giving gifts and I love receiving them. I really like giving little kids extravagant gifts. You see their little faces light up and they get excited. If it's a really good gift, I love receiving it like jewels, small islands. It kills me when people talk about California hedonism. Anybody who talks about California hedonism has never spent a Christmas in Sacramento. Globalization has created this interlocking fragility. At no time in the history of the universe has the cancellation of a Christmas order in New York meant layoffs in China. There's never really been a real hood Christmas movie. It's silly talking about how many years we will have to spend in the jungles of Vietnam when we could pave the whole country and put parking stripes on it and still be home by Christmas. One of my favorite movies of all time is It's a Wonderful Life, 
which is a pretty interesting choice for a seasonal Christmas favorite, because it's about a guy who wants to commit suicide and is presented with reasons not to. As I lay so sick on my bed, from Christmas till March, I was always praying for poor old master. Pairs like I didn't do nothing but pray for old master. Oh, Lord, convert old master, oh, dear Lord, change that man's heart, and make him a Christian. Christmas carols always brought tears to my eyes. I also cry at weddings. I should have cried at a couple of my own. Christmas morning, I'm going to open presents with my kids. I'm going to take pictures of them opening the presents. Then I'm going to come to the Staples Center and get ready to work. I don't care why they love me, as long as they love me. I think people respect me because they feel like, I'm kind of like Christmas. I come back every year. You can't get rid of me. I just keep coming back. I am a Jew, and every single one of my ancestors was Jewish. And it does not bother me even a little bit when people call those beautiful lit up, bejeweled trees Christmas trees. I don't feel threatened. I don't feel discriminated against. My mother was a professional sick person, she took a lot of pain pills. There are many people like that. It's just how they are used to getting attention. I always remember she's the daughter of alcoholics who'd leave her alone at Christmas time. There would be no Christmas if there was no Easter. I've been giving back since I was a teen, handing out turkeys at Thanksgiving and handing out toys at Toys Drives for Christmas. It's very important to give back as a youth. It's as simple as helping an old lady across the street or giving up your seat on the bus for someone who is pregnant. I am a veteran of the war on Christmas. I am just emerging from a battlefield strewn with dead trees and torn shreds of brightly colored wrapping paper. At Christmas, I am always struck by how the spirit of togetherness lies also at the heart of the Christmas story. A young mother and a dutiful father with their baby were joined by poor shepherds and visitors from afar. They came with their gifts to worship the Christ child. My parents were kind of overprotective people. Me and my sister had to play in the backyard all the time. They bought us bikes for Christmas but wouldn't let us ride in the street, we had to ride in the backyard. Another Christmas, my dad got me a basketball hoop and put it in the middle of the lawn. You can't dribble on grass.